Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and this is your girl the Glam Empress if you're new and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I beat my face into my signature neutral cut crease look. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more beauty content. At first, I wasn't going to talk during this video, but I had some things to say. But first, let's do these brows, and I'm going to go in using my Benefit Precisely Brow Pencil, and I'm cleaning them up using my LA Girl Pro Concealer. Because I have oily eyelids, I'm going in with my MAC Prep and Prime and I'm using this as well to prime my eyelids before I do any eyeshadow work. I also use it for under the eyes because I have watery eyes and I get a lot of creasing. Now we're going to go in with the Warriors by Juvia's Place and I'm going to take this dark black color and I'm going to use this to pack it on the eye and smoke it out. At the same time, I like for a very bold smoky eye. I love to make a statement when it comes to my eyeshadow. So this is the perfect color to start that look. Now I'm going to use my e.l.f. Cameo Concealer in Fair Rose to cut my crease. I love using the e.l.f. Concealer because it dries down very quickly and it doesn't move at all. here just to give a little rant to y'all so of course none of my views and opinions have anything to do with Sephora but as a Sephora employee this is some things that I noticed about the clientele that we have coming into Sephora now a lot of you guys are very beautiful and it really hurts me to know that a lot of people can't leave the house without makeup on or need makeup to go swimming or you need to put on makeup just to go get gas and you guys like just being a beauty advisor at Sephora I noticed a lot of insecurities that us women have and granted we all have insecurities I have insecurities as well but the first thing to having flawless skin or beautiful skin is not makeup you guys it is having a good healthy skincare regimen in the morning and at night And I'm just going to go ahead and finish packing on this new pink color and blending out any harsh lines around my cut crease so that way it can look blended and there's no lines showing and I'm going to top it off with using my e.l.f. black eyeliner. So yeah, getting back into what I was saying y'all. So the first thing to having beautiful, healthy, flawless skin is having a good skincare regimen. Now I'm in my 30s you guys and I still look well into my early 20s. Some people even think I'm 19. But that's because I take great care of my skin on the inside and on the outside. And that's including drinking water, taking vitamins, working out, and just filling your skin up with healthy toxins, toxins, you guys, eating healthy. And that's all a part of having a healthy skincare and having a healthy life in general, which is what we all should be doing. And you guys, like makeup is only going to enhance your beauty is not going to change your beauty is not going to cover up 
everything that you want to cover up because you're supposed to be fixing what you need to fix on the inside as well as the outside. And I've noticed that being a beauty advisor, people want to use makeup to cover up any imperfections and they get upset when it's not fully covered up. And that's what makeup, makeup isn't for that. Makeup is to enhance the beauty that you already have. And in order to help with your insecurities is you just need to fix it. And that's just as simple as, like I said, just getting a skincare routine and staying consistent. A lot of people aren't being consistent. They'll use a product uh, for one week and think that it's supposed to change everything. And you guys, I'm guilty of that too. But a lot of our clients come in there and put their insecurities on us. And that's something we just cannot fix. Now I'm going in with my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye to brighten up my under eye. I really love this concealer if you're looking for something thick and for brightening and just not to crease or cake up. Bye Bye Under Eye by IT Cosmetics is definitely a game changer. Now you guys, I'm not the best at skincare either, but I'm definitely not gonna give up when it comes to my skin. And I wanna be able to share that with my clients at Sephora as well. Like I know a lot of people, you, you guys just don't wanna do it, I get it, but it's important and it really bothers me, especially like my younger girls who don't wear sunscreen and who don't moisturize. And it's best that we take care of our skin now at a young age because we don't want to get into our more mature age and then regret the decisions that we made when we were young. So I love being a beauty advisor at Sephora because I'm able to educate people on all beauty needs, even hair as well um, and fragrance too. But my strong points are uh, makeup and I am learning more about skincare because skincare is important you guys. Now let's get into different techniques of makeup. A lot of our clients will come in and say, hey, this didn't work or I used this and it fell off my face and I did this and I did that. And my first question is, are you using a primer? And nine times out of 10, my clients say, no, I don't use a primer because it just don't do good with my face. And I've tried all primers under the sun. And you guys, you have to be sure that you're using the right primer for your makeup. A lot of people like to cut corners with makeup, but they want it to look flawless. You guys, I'm sitting here doing my makeup and I'm telling you this video is probably less than 20 minutes, but I'm telling you it took an hour for me to do this face. It is not as quick as this video is showing and that's because I do not cut corners when it comes to my makeup. Now I get it. Everyone does not want to do the whole 20 step process or the 10 step process. Some people want to get one, two and call it a day. Some people want that flawless makeup look that they can get in the car, but it's still some things that you have to do to manipulate how your makeup is going to stay and last all day. And using a primer, no matter what skin you have is key. Now I'm using my duo glue and we are going to be popping on these lashes baby to set off this look and I'm going in with Control Freak by NYX Cosmetics to set my eyebrows. And y'all stop coming into Sephora with a full face of makeup on wanting to get matched. Like I don't understand why y'all are doing this to me. It is extremely hard to match you if you are wearing makeup. I don't know what the true color of your face may look like. 
Now, if you're wearing a tinted like SPF or something very light, okay, I can kind of work with that. But having a bare face and coming to get color matched is key. Also, keep an open mind when it comes to trying on different foundations for different makeup brands. A lot of people are wanting to try something because their homegirl or their cousin or their mother or somebody then found the perfect makeup foundation for them and it works for them but may not work for you and people get so disappointed and so like oh it's it's not for me it's not for me no makeup is a one size fit all but it's finding the best brand for you the best undertones we all have different skin we all have different undertones so what looks good on aunt cc may not look good for bb <laughs> And you guys, I'm taking my MAC Press Powder and I'm just blending everything in, making sure there's no harsh lines, making sure my contour, my blush, and my highlight and everything is blended into the skin. I like for a lot of definition in my face but I don't want you to see where anything starts or stop I like for my makeup to be flawless and to look like it's coming from within so I'm just doing some last minute baking highlighting and blushing And you guys, the last thing that I kind of want to just touch bases on, but I'm going to leave this conversation for another day, would have to be um, the thing that breaks my heart is a lot of people want to be either lighter than what they are or darker than what they are. And I feel like that's a problem as well when it comes to makeup. You guys, we all should love ourselves the way we are. And I understand there's some tweaks and things that we want to fix, but makeup isn't to change our identity is to enhance again our own natural beauty that we were born with so I just wanted to leave these little tidbits with you guys I don't want to <laughs> preach too much but just love yourself the way you are and I love to help you guys with any of your beauty needs and thank you so much for watching this video I love you guys let me know if you want to see more makeup videos thank you for supporting me don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and see you guys in the next video bye you guys started from the floor Working ten to ten and it's in the four I get the bags under my eyes on my mommy floor Always know the plan, I know dummy knows Always met myself, never